towards the end of my time at Google, they were starting up this new project called Spanner. Um, and then, um, it, you know, in, in 2012, they uh, they published a paper about uh, about a lot of the details of uh, of Spanner, and that uh, that that really became a, a big inspiration for CockroachDB. We found ourselves kind of dissatisfied with all of the uh, database options that we were that we were seeing out there, having been kind of spoiled by Google's uh, GFS and Bigtable and other highly uh, highly scalable and automated data storage systems. And so we uh, we, we kind of start, we're kicking around this idea for uh, for something that Spencer decided to call Cockroach. Um, that would be a, a, a scalable and, uh, and indestructible uh, data store. So those who don't know CockroachDB is it's Postgres um, wire protocol compatible, which means that you can use all of the Postgres drivers. You know, our emphasis on strong consistency uh, makes us uh, kind of a natural fit for uh, financial services. And when you're thinking about cloud, cloud databases, um, uh, a lot of the latency is going to be in the um, the network anyway. The history of the uh, of the NoSQL databases um, they showed that you can strip your feature set way down and still get something that uh, that a lot of people will be able to uh, to, to to make use of. We we have different um, workloads that each are sort of like optimized for. They both can do a bit of each other's processing, but they're clearly optimized for one or the other. Do you think those two worlds are going to pull back together at any time soon, or do you think we're for the time? being you, you want to choose a different platform for when you're analyzing data than from when you're sort of like doing high speed transactional processing of data. Early on, we didn't have an optimizer that was able to uh, to execute uh, uh, execute joins efficiently, and so um, you know, we had to warn people to stay away from them when uh, when performance matters. As a system, time is awesome too because it lets you do um, a sort of like a, a get out of jail free card type thing for screw ups. Um, you can sort of delete all the rows out of the table and oh whoops, and then you can just use as of system time to to get them back, and you can even do a backup. Um, of the database after you've ruined it. As one way to make read queries not interfere with writes, um, this is another way you can have, um, instead of pushing your reads into the past, you can let your reads stay at the present and push your writes into the future. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.